It's the fastest it has the been 36 years since Florence Griffin, famously known as Flo Jo, made history by setting the world record for the women's 100 meters. With a remarkable time of 10.49 seconds at the US Olympic Trials in July 1988. Since then, the record has stood as a symbol of excellence, with the top female sprinters in the world attempting but falling short to surpass it. Once considered unbreakable, the women's 100 meter world record has now been challenged. The question remains, will we see this record being broken and who are the contenders capable of achieving this feat? In preparation for a 1988 Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, Flo Jo showcased her incredible speed at the US Olympic Trials. During the quarterfinals, she shocked everyone by competing the 100 meter in a mind-blowing 10.49 seconds. This shattered the previous world record of 10.76 set by Ashford four years prior, surpassing it by a remarkable 0.27 seconds a record that still stands today. 13 women's world record in the Olympic track and field events, including Flojo's 100 meter record, are still standing from the 1980s, all before the introduction of mandatory random drug testing in 1989. And some feel that a clean athlete will never be able to surpass those marks. Flojo's drug test results were always clean, yet her incredible achievements were always overshadowed by rumors and skepticism. No one can run that fast. One of the biggest contention in the 100 meter world record revolves around the issue of wind. Interestingly, the wind reading for Flo Joes during her record breaking run was recorded at 0.0. .0. However, just across the track, the men's triple jump event registered a tailwind of 4.3 miles per second. This raised doubts and added fuel to the controversy surrounding Flo Joes' achievements. Despite all the doubts that still hang over the 100 meter world record, the only thing that remains certain is that it will take a very, very special run if Flo Jo's 10.49 record is ever to fall. And in recent years, it looks more and more likely. The current wave of sprinters, many of whom weren't even born when Flo Jo commanded the stage, keep creeping closer to the world record mark. But while many have looked to conquer it, no one had come close to it until Eleni Thompson came into the picture. In 2021, at the Diamond League meeting in Eugene, Eleni Thompson, a five-time Jamaican Olympic champion, came remarkably close to breaking Flo Jo's 100m world record. With a wind legal time of 10.54 seconds, she secured the second fastest time ever recorded. This not only brought the world record within reach for the first time in a generation, but also ignited a wave of excitement among the fans. There is now a glimmer of hope that the long-standing 100m record may finally be shattered. When Thompson blazed through the track in Eugene, clocking 10.54, she covered the first 60 meters in 6.87 seconds. This equaled the 60 meter time achieved by legendary Flo Jo when she set the world record. Since 1997, Florence Griffin 10.49 record has been labeled by World Athletics as probably strong wind assisted. This has led many to consider Thompson's 10.54 as a true world record, given the doubts surrounding the wind reading in 1988. And the same month following Thompson's impressive second fastest time, Fraser Price met her mark by claiming the third fastest time ever, storming home in a blazing 1060 seconds. While Thompson's fastest time is 0.06 seconds ahead of Fraser Price's best, a closer look at the top 10 mark shows that Price is in a league of her own. She holds the record for the most times under 1070 seconds, breaking the barrier an impressive 9 times. The 2023 season also seen the re-emergence of talented Kari Richardson who came back from a two-year suspension. Richardson has been in a winning spree in 2023, including capturing gold in the 100 meters at the World Championships in Budapest, beating the legend Shelley Ann Fraser Price and Shurika Jackson, with performances that has seen her enter the frame when the question is raised, who is the current fastest woman on earth? And then there is the 2023 World 200 meter champion, Shurika Jackson, who became the fifth fastest woman in history after clocking 10.65 to win the 100 meters at the Jamaican National Championships in June. Sidelined by injuries for majority of the season, Eleni Thompson closed the 2023 season in a high note. She clocked her best time of the year, 10.79 seconds. Question marks around her fitness or her injury problems that she's... Based on her current trajectory, Thompson seems set to retake her place at the top of the women's sprinting and cement her legacy as the fastest woman alive. With eyes set on Paris 2024, It'll be interesting to see these four go head to head and possibly break Flo Jo's record. It's exciting to think that we could possibly see the world record of Flo Jo's four and if so, who do you think is most likely to break it? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this 
See you on our next video.